اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاه والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم خاتم الانبياء والمرسلين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي my very dear and respectable quran course fellows assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh and understand al quran the easy way course 2 and its page 4 pointer b and i congratulate you for being part of this learning of the blessed book so on the page 4 alhamdulillah we have four pointers and with the of these four pointers we have already covered the first one warning and good news today inshallah we are going to talk about the mosquito the example of the bauda and then in the next week we'll talk about who goes astray and who, how can you disbelieve now very quick question and then i'll move forward uh which arabic word has helped us to pick up this pointer of warning fattaku nar fattaku yeah so fattaku is a warning that is we are being alarmed we are being sensitized so be careful okay be fearful of allah so that was warning and which arabic word gives us the pointer of good news wa bashiril azim wa bashiril so bash so this is this is for the good news and then the, the entire news is there which we studied yesterday and today and today's pointer bauda is the word used for its ism for mosquito so an example is being given uh because again the text shows the word of yadriba masala so daraba masala if you remember we 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 had a very short mention of it in qc1 so example of mosquito so that's what inshallah we are going to study today of the four pointers on our right hand warning and good news example of mosquito who goes astray and how can you disbelieve so these are the four pointers for it short pointers are warning mosquito has spray and disbelieve so your time to now practice these pointers for the page 4 so who is going to take lead today every day you have a chance to be the first one take initiative and today brother faisal is the first one to start with his input on pointers bismillah rahman rahim warning and good news first pointer second pointer is example of mosquito third who goes astray and fourth one is how can you disbelieve in short Great. warning mosquito astray and disbelieve thank you brother sister gafaya assalamu alaikum to love everybody the first point is warning and good news the second one example of mosquito the third one who goes astray the fourth one how can you disbelieve and the short Great. form warning mosquito astray disbelieve well sister catherine uh the first the first pointer is warning and good news the second pointer is example of mosquito the third pointer is who goes astray the last one is how can you disbelieve the short forms are warning mosquito astray disbelieve excellent so we are going to now start our <clears throat> second pointer which is about the example of mosquito and if we related to with the previous verses so yesterday we had a talk about you know how allah warned the people those who would not still believe uh, because allah had given them a challenge fail lam tafalu wa lan tafalu so after even having had this challenge and not being able to do that if they are not finding hidayah then they have been warned and then allah also gives the 
you know, sort of a good news as well to those who who believe in it. So, uh, you know, he says that such people raise questions before even thinking about it properly. This is for those who do not believe in the Quran uh, and raise unnecessary questions. That's what we will discuss, inshallah, in today's pointer that people do not ponder, think deeply, but make uh, excuses. Okay. Now, every ayah of Quran has a lesson for us, and these verses also have lessons. Allah give examples to us to help us understand. So it means examples are a good way to understand things. So Allah is providing us examples to understand. Number two, whenever the haq is revealed, People, those who believe, those who have a believer's heart, they would know it is hug from Allah. It is from Allah. So who would actually go on the wrong way are the ones who are disobedient. They will get lost. They will not find hidayah. Right? So Allah has made Quran very easy for us. These ayahs, alhamdulillah, by this time, we know a lot of things. So we'll inshallah try to see what do we know from it and what do we need to know further. So quick questions from all of you, challenge questions. These questions connect us to our previous learning as well as help us move forward. And these questions should motivate us. It's not a sort of a stress for you, but a motivator for you. To get to know how much you already know, mashallah, and how we can, how quickly we can move forward. So, what does inna means? Inna. Inna is indeed very right. So, inna Allah, indeed Allah, and you know la. La means no, not, no, not. And yes, tahi, we are going to study. It's a new word for us. So, la yes, but it's a verb, and I'm sure you can find something about its structure. But we'll talk about it once we come to the uh, text. But remember the phrase la yes, uh, we have to learn the new word with the help of this phrase la yes, indeed, Allah, what Allah does not do, that's what we'll see here la yes, and then there is an which by joining with ya becomes an yadriba. What is an? What does it mean? If. First of all, tell me. An, an is that. Very well, brother. An is that, but it is a harf, ism, or a fail. Harf. Harf, sir. Yeah. Well, alhamdulillah, by this time now we have clarity about haruf and asma and afal so next is ayadriba yadriba masala so which fail is this yadriba mudaris darab mudari form of which fail darab daraba daraba but remember what does daraba mean daraba mean he hit but you remember, gave you a clue in QC1 whenever it is written Daraba Masala. What would be the meaning? example given? Yeah, when an example is given, okay. So, when something is explained or told with the help of an example, so this here is again because of Masala, the meanings are different. So, it is coming in Mudare Ayyadriba Masala that gives examples. Ma, we all know ma. So, what? yeah, ba'uda, we have learned about this word. Ba'uda no, means? Mosquito. Mosquito. Fama. Faukaha. Can you make, can you break down the word faukaha? Faukaha. Faukaha. That's good. So, and... I'm sure you understand where does this ha go to? Ha connects with? Bauda. Ha. Bauda. Bauda. That's wonderful. And then 
the now apparently when you look at fa'amal ladina amanu i think you should find it very easy but it is highlighted as a phrase and there is a reason for it so the word fa'amma will we will see it. how does it connect and what is the relation of such phrases when fa'amma and when you look at the next uh, you know part of the ayat begins with fa'amma so what does it stand for what does it reflect so that's why it has been highlighted although you would know the meaning of fa'amanu but fa'amma allazina fa'amanu we are going to in detail so what is the next word how would you break it down fa'alamuna Excellent. So, which verb is it? It is Mudare plural, but which verb is it? Alimu. 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 Alama. Alima. Alama. Do not study anything like Alama. Please tell me the right Alima, verb. Alima. 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 Oh, it is Alima. 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 Yeah, Alama. Yeah. Alama. Alama. Yeah. Yeah. Alama. Yeah. Please, whenever you are asked a verb, you should start with the first form of Mazi and say Alima. And as the brother said, immediately Alamu. Alam. So this will be a good reminder and a good reunion for you to uh, for uh, you know the, the afar and already that's what you should do in fact whenever you see uh, such afal so fa and ya lamuna and it comes from alima annahu al haqq annahu what is annahu that it that it, that it. Or indeed it is indeed it. Anna who that it or that he and where does this who refer to? This is now you see this is a bit uh, what should I call it a bit complex. Allah, Allah, Allah. Where does this yeah where does where does it go this who? Yeah, yeah. Towards Allah. Allah. Al Hakku Min Rabbihim. The truth. Which truth? From Allah. Well, so that is the. the one, but what is this? Who the truth, goes to? The truth of the example he gave us of the mosquito. Yeah, the example given here, which Allah is mentioning, so from Allah is Hak, right? So hmm. that's what we need to understand to be better at our translations. So Anna Hakku Mer Rabbihim, you know, min from Rabbihim Rab. So then comes Amma Lazina Kafaru, and you know Kafara comes from which table? Uh, which verb? Kafara Kafara Yakfu. Kafara Kafara Yakfu. Kafara Yakfu Ukfur. On the pattern of Nasara. And next word is Fayaku Luna. Can we break it? And Yakulu the from Kala. Excellent. What does Maza mean? What? 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 Yeah. And do we break this word? No. No, we don't. It is Maza. It is a complex no. Ma Maza. Those are sing single word. Hmm. It's a single word. So Maza is question. What? Arad Allahu. We will inshallah study the Arad. It's a new fail. So we'll study it here. Maza Arad Allahu. We know the meanings of Maza and Allah. Bihaza this. We have the masala, the example given. Next word is you. Which which field does it come from? Dalla you dillu. Dalla you dillu. So we know it. It's on the pattern of. It's on the pattern of. Daraba yadribu. Daraba. Daraba yadribu. 
يُدِلُّ بِهِ كَسِيرًا وَيَحْدِي بِهِ كَسِيرًا وَيَحْدِي بِهِ كَسِيرًا You know the meaning of kasira. It is a common use word. What does it mean, kasira? Many. 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 Bihi kasira. Wa yahdi. And yahdi comes from? Hada. 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 Yahdi. 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 Yahdi bihi kasira. Wa ma yudilu bihi lal fasikeen. Pasikin is singular or plural? Plural. First pasik. It is a plural of fasik. Okay. Fasik. It could be fasik. Or fasikin. Right? So, let's now go for word for word and phrase for phrase uh, translation of it uh, with the recitation. A'uz billahi al-Qur'an rajim ان الله لا يستحي ان يضرب مثلا ما بعوده فما فوقها فعم الذين امنوا فيعلمون انه الحق من ربهم من ربهم ان الله and as you all have said indeed allah la yastahi is not ashamed of does not mind actually in that sense Masala, that he would give an example, present an example of what? Which could be about a mosquito, or anything which is above, above it. it. Yeah, meaning by Faukaha. And you remember you also studied the word uh, yesterday, did we study the Tahtiha? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. So that was under and Fauka above. Upper. So Fauka above it. Uh, it actually means any example about something as little as a mosquito or beyond this. So Allah would give any example. That's what this phrase actually means. Or anything above it. So and by the way, we, Alhamdulillah, luckily we are living in, in an age, an era, where we can understand the value of this example given in Quran. Maybe at that time, people were unable to realize, you know, why this example of Bauda? But now, the way, you know, different technologies have developed after studying this very little uh, living thing of mosquito, nanotechnology and, you know, drones and all that, it is based on the you know, observation and studies about Ba'udah. So, uh, Allah has given this powerful example. But what has happened? فَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ amanu. Then as for فَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ amanu. Then as for الَّذِينَ amanu, Those who believed. فَيَعْلَمُونَ But they would know. They all will know. They know. What? They know. أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ that it is right, it is truthful, it is correct, من ربهم, from their Lord. So, you know, this is how فَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ لَحْكُمْ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ The first group of people is the ones who believe, and they believe that this is a truth. Now, وَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَكُولُونَ مَا زَارَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَا زَمَسَلَا يُدِلُّ بِهِ كَسِيرًا وَيَحْدِي بِهِ كَسِيرًا وَمَا يُدِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِكِينَ وَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا But now this comes the second group of people. So فَعَمَّا and وَعَمَّا relates in this context. But as for those who disbelieve, كَفَرُوا reject. فَيَقُولُونَ Pas, so they would say what is Allah's intention in giving such an example? So what did Allah intend? Arada, because it is the first form, so it comes, He intended. So maza arada Allahu. What did Allah intend? Bihaza masal. With this example, meaning by the example of mosquito. 
yadillu bihi kasira he misleads kasira many wa yahdi bihi kasira and guides thereby many so wa ma yudillu bihi lil fasikin and who would go misled none except the defiant the disobedient okay so wa ma yudillu bihi lil fasikin and he does not mislead except the defiantly disobedient all right now we will inshallah go one by one so that you have another phase of uh, looking at these words and inshallah then inna inna allah so just keep saying these things with me indeed allah la not yes taqi is not ashamed of ain yadriba to that yadriba masala to present to give an example okay of any ma ba'uda ba'uda is mosquito so this word should be we should you know record it here and that's what the pointer is based on of ba'uda from a fawqaha or what or something could be above it so here comes the the correlation between fa'amma and wa'amma fa'amma and then as for you know as far as the first group of people is concerned this is how it is so alladhina amanu what they will do is fa'amma alladhina amanu those who have believed they are going to fa ya'lamuna then also relate this fa actually also relates with them so as for so and and for then this is how it is okay so fa'am alladhina amanu fa ya'lamuna annahu al-haqqu min rabbihim thus they would know it is the truth from the lord and fa'am alladhina kafaru now for the second group but as for those who rejected or disbelieve fa yaquluna they say ma za arad allah what did allah intend see this here so when you talk about two groups so this expression actually explains it this way makes it easy comparison fa amal ladina amanu fa and wa amal ladina kafaru fa so al ladina amanu is the first group al ladina kafaru is the second group so believers would definitely believe that this is the truth but the non believers would always come with excuses so let's see what excuse are they going to make here so the excuse they are making is you know why is allah giving such a you know sort of they would say a uh, uh, non important or uh, you know very uh, something which is of no value example of such a such a such a thing fayaquluna ma zarad allah bi hadha masala so this time they have come with this excuse what did allah intend by this as an example so yudillu bihi kasira now allah mentions you know allah gives hidayah and allah uh, such people are misled also so the same example is given but the people of wisdom and insight and truth they will find hidayah from it and people with fisk in their hearts they will go astray so yahdi bihi kasira so and guides thereby many and wama yudillu bihi illal fasikin and he does not mislead by it except the defiantly disobedient defiantly disobedient so now let's look at the uh, more explanation of it so uh, now we know we are living in a time when we know that the mosquito has a complete flight system you know there uh, you could find even smaller objects or items uh, smaller than mosquito but mosquito somehow in the common human observation we all say say it see it 
and the entire system of nanotechnology is being developed on the basis of it, copying it. So this is how you know this this entire drones technology and all that the humans are developing. So just see Allah's one little creation is helping us to develop further things. But imagine we have taken 1400 years to realize the importance of this example. So context justifies the example. And Allah gave example of, Allah has also given other examples in Quran of bee and spider in Ankabut and other surahs. Now here is the believers. They know that it is truth from their Rabb because Allah does not give examples without any purpose, without any reason. Any single thing which Allah says, a word which is brought in the text of Quran has a meaning and there is a reason and it stands for something concrete. So, so the disbelievers, but they will always come with objections. So they are raised objections without listening, without pondering, without, uh, you know, sort of, uh, without any insight. So such, such, you know, uh, uh, objections without thinking over the example properly are baseless and useless. If they would have pondered, they would have surely uh, got guidance from it. So, you know, what happens is the Fasik, the one who disobeys Allah defiantly, uh, would not find Hidayah. We'll talk more about it with the next pointer. But here, the Fasik is the one who disobeys Allah defiantly, the one who has doubts in his heart. So we see so many non-Muslim scientists and doctors, or even among us Muslims, who look at the signs of Allah, but they're not guided towards Allah. You know why? Because they have doubts in their hearts. They do not believe. They do not have a firm belief that yes, everything is done by Allah. And Allah has put everything in order in, as a system. So this fisk misguides them. So actually, the, you know, the lack of hidayah can be attached to the degree of fisk. You know, the the more you are able to remove it from your life, definitely you have a higher degree of hidayah and vice versa. More fisk, more you'll be away from hidayah. So your time now, Alam. All right, now some quick questions from all of you. So, which two groups the Allah have has talked about in this example? A, B, C, D. D. A. 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 Okay. Most of you think K. Right. All right, let's go forward. Now, this one is your time now. Look at the Arabic text without looking at the translation. Do the translation yourself. If you get stuck, only then look at the running translation given at the bottom.
All right, just a quick question to all of you uh, in this uh, fail of, uh, sorry, the Yudillu, what did we say? What fail does it come from? Zilla, sir. But that was Dalla Yadillu. You remember that? Dalla Yadillu. Yeah, that was Dalla Yadillu. So this was... one is Maju'ul. No, this is, just a minute. This is not Maju'ul even. This is not Maju'ul. Actually, uh, this is a Mazid Fi verb. Uh, the, there is a very slight difference between the three letter verbs and the mazid fee of all at times. So it is from Azilla Yudillu. So, for example, if Dalla was he went astray, uh, Azilla would be he, uh, uh, he was. He went, he was made to go astray or uh, misguided. So it is from that verb. That's why we will not actually be studying its table right now. So let's now look at the asbat. Allah gives example to help us understand. Believers know it is hak from Allah, only disobedient people get lost. And we always learn from the practice of the Prophet peace be upon him is life. So here is a dua and it's a beautiful one. Allahumma habib ilayna al-imana O Allah and dear to us the faith wa zayyina yinhu fi kulubina and make it pleasing in our hearts. Wa karrih ilayna al-kufra and make hateful to us what? First of all kufra disbelief Wal fusuka defiance, wal isyana and disobedience or sins, wajalla mina rashidin and make us among the rightly or the guided ones. So, inshallah, we'll accordingly make a plan, do things, ponder about the examples before we say anything. Before we question. Okay, if you're reading it, I'll, I'll leave it here for a minute. And then I'll move forward. All right, so... Okay, so tell me the plural of basal. Amsal. 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 Rab. I'm sorry. These are the plural which, for example, we learnt about Amal, Amal, Masal, Amsal, Rab, Arbab, Zaj, Azwaj, Waj, and Fasik. How would we make plural of it? Fasikun, Fasikin, it could be Danun, Arbab. Both are right. Let's look at the afal. First of all, Daraba. We have already done it, but let me see who will do the short table of Daraba. Quickly, please. Daraba, Yazribu, Yazrib. Zarib, Mazrub, Zarib. Excellent, brother. Next, short table of Alima. Alima, Yalam, Yalam, Alim. Excellent. This is also the pattern of Nasara. Pasaka Yapsuku Ufsuk Fasik Dad Fisk Dash Fisk. So defiance is, you know, an action done by somebody. So it is the same person who is always defined. So maful is, there is no maful. Kala. 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 
Excellent. So with this, we have completed the first part of it. So, you know, uh, so, so, so that's also an example. We have not studied the table of Dalla Yadillu here because it is not a three letter one. It has come from the Mazid Fi Adalla Yudillu. So, make a note of it. Okay. All right. So, now, now let's move forward with the. Grammar part, and here is it. So, Aus Billahi Min Ash-Shaitan Rajim. In grammar, Alhamdulillah, you know the, this is a golden chance for all of us to make sure that all our basic tables are perfect. Now, when I say basic tables, it means the four basic styles. And their sets. <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday we did Fataha and we did uh, six Afal. I mean, uh, five with Fataha, five extra Afal. So, six of them. So, I think that was ample practice to now remember the pattern of Fataha. Today, in this, uh, we are going to do the uh, pattern of Nasara. You know, all the different verbs which we have learnt on the pattern of Nasara, which is very easy. We know it, inshallah. So shortly when I'll come to it, some someone of you should do the entire table of Nasara first, and then we will do the short table, which come on the pattern of Nasara. Okay? So I hope by this time, everybody is clear about the four basic tables, styles, or the sound verbs of Fataha, Nasara, Daraba, and Samya. Okay, and we know Fataha is Yaftahu, Nasara Yan Suru, Daraba Yad Ribu, and Samia Yasmau. And each one of them is different because their signs, symbols change, sound change, so the entire pattern changes. And we have learned the weaker verbs on their pattern like Wahaba and Wa'ada, like Kala and Zada. Like da'a and hada and zanna and dalla and sha'a as well. Okay. So, sha'a, khafa, and then on their pattern, we have also seen uh, additional verbs like, for example, on hada, we know jaza, on wa'ada, on wahaba, we have also done wada'a, on wa'ada, you have done wajada. So, we have done many other additional ones. On kala, you have done kala, uh, kana. Okay, so now, so we are we, we are just taking the the verbs coming on the first five pages of the Quran from the Nasara pattern. Okay, so before I start them, I would like you to someone to come forward and do the entire table of Nasar, full table of Nasar. So who would like to take lead on it? Okay, brother Faisal has raised hand. So please everybody listen to it carefully because then we are going to follow and practice and revise all the afal on the pattern of Nasa. Okay? Yes, brother. Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarta, Nasartu, Nasartu, Nasarna, Ya Nasarat. Yansuru, Yansuruna. Tansuru, Onsuru, Tansuruna, Nansuru, Hia Tansuru. Onsur, Onsuru, La Tansur, La Tansuru. Nasir, Mansur, Nasr. Excellent. Now you see, my brother has done a wonderful complete table. Okay, once again, brothers and sisters, please do it with me, everybody. Nasara. Nasaru, Nasarta, Nasartu, Nasartu, 
Nasartum. Nasartum. Nasarna. And we also know that Nasara has Nasarat. Okay, so it is Hua Nasara, then Hia Nasara. Nasarat. Similarly, Anta Tansuru and Hia Tansuru. So, Alhamdulillah. This is the short table is given here. Nasara, Yansuru, Unsur, Nasir, Mansur, Nasr. Short table helps us to make our work easy. So now we will be taking a fall on the short pattern, but it means we will automatically be able to make their full table because we know the entire pattern of Nasar. So we should not have any difficulty in uh, somebody's mic has lots of noise in it. Can I mute it? Okay. So So, so uh, my... okay, right. So let's now look at the short tables of other afad. Now, very important short table of Khalaka. I, 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 I want uh, new names, please. New people, please come forward. Rather than I start calling your names and inviting them to do the afal. Okay, Brother Shahid, do the short table of Khalaka. 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 Khalak. Okay, go ahead. Khalakta. Khalakto. Just, just to, the, to the short table. We short all should table. be able to do the full table ourselves. Yeah. Khalaka. Yakhluku. Ukhluku. Khalik, Makhluk, Khalk. So, so this is shout yeah. So it is Khalaka Yahluk. Yeah. Yahluk. Khalik, Makhluk, Khalk. Makhluk. Perfect. Okay. Now, the short table of Khalaka. And you know, uh, we have also done this. Who is going to? Practice short table of Abada. Yeah, brother Saidu, good to see you. Abada, ya abudu, obudu, abid, maabud, ibada. Ibada. Excellent. So, brother uh, Ibrahim. Okay, <coughs> Brother Kambaka, could you please do the same? Zakara, Zakara, Yazkur, Ozkur, Zakir, Mazkur, Zikir. Zikr. So, Zakara yes, Guru, Uzkur, Zakir, Masku, Zikr. And we know the meaning of Zakara is he remembered. So, when we say, Allahumma aini ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik, we use to zikrika in it. That to remember you. Oh Allah, help me to remember you better. So, Shakara is also on the pattern of Nasara. Who is going to do it? Someone new, please. Where are my sisters? They are not coming forward. Sister Catherine, yes. 
Shakara, Yashkuru, Ushkur, Shakir, Mashkur, Shukur. Shukr. Mashallah. Excellent. Brother Al Amin, I saw a new hand. Brother Amin, would you like to do the same Shakara table? Are you with us, Brother Amin? Brother Al Amin Ahmad. Okay, I, I think he is unable to mostly uh, share. Table Shakara. Shakara. Yashkuru. Ushkur. Shakir. Mashkur. Shukur. Shukr. Alhamdulillah. And brothers and sisters, I tell you this Nasara pattern is very important because most of all in Quran comes on the pattern of Nasara. And let's have quick questions from you. Three noun keys of Yakhluku are A, B, C, D. Which one is right? Noun keys, remember. B, sir. B. B. Halik. Is everybody on the same? B, sir. Okay. All right. Halik, Makhluk, Khalk. So, Ism file, Ism maf'ool, and some fail or master. Okay, three verb keys of Shakara are very good. So I was happy to hear my brother doing it, you know, with with uh, uh, fluency and and probably Shakara Yashkuru Ushkur. So it should be a wonderful. Okay. Translated to Arabic, we worship. Nabudu, sir. Nabudu, alhamdulillah. We know it. Very easy. Things are becoming easy for us. We are doing enough practice. So, that's guru. Give a careful answer, seeing which options are right. So, A and D, sir. A and B. Let's wait for others. When more people have said, we'll move forward. Do you all agree with A and D? Because it is mudare. So there has to be, it will be. Yes. Or you remember or you will remember. Perfect. So in Quran, you see, we have approximately 190 such verbs that occur 3,800 uh, 3, times on the pattern of Nasara. Today in this session, inshallah, we will be covering almost 15 of them, right? So your attention will help you learn the meanings of hundreds of uh, afal or the pattern of Nasara if you pay a little attention and if you command over Nasara. Today, make sure that you have enough practice and enough command of Nasara that this goes with you forever, inshallah. Then. So similarly, Dakhala. Sister, uh, Sister Kifayat, would you like to do the short table of Dakhala? Yes. Dakhala, Yadkhulu, Udkhul, Dahilun, Madkhulun, Tukhulun. Tukhulun, excellent. So Dakhala, he entered. So similarly, Yadkhulu, Udkhul, Dakhil, Madkhul. Duhul. So this is the and then the pattern of Hasada. We studied in the in the you know uh Hasadin is a Hasad. So it was Hasada, he envied. Okay. Sister Asya, short table of Hasada. Hasada Yahsulu Ohsulu. Hasid, Mahsud, Hasad. Hasad. So, sister, it is Oh Sud. You know, the last word is silent here. Oh Sud. Okay. And by the way, I need your attention, everyone. If we will do the complete table of Hasada, remember, because of Da in it, 
like in abada it will be hasada hasadu what will hasata. we say here hasatta hasatta hasattu excellent it will be hasatta hasattu hasattum hasatna so hasatna here the dal is there but in hasatta hasattu like abatta abattu abattum abadna hasatta hasattu hasattum hasadna so remember this okay so yahsudu yahsuduna tahsudu ahsudu tahsuduna nahsudu ahsud ahsudu la tahsud la tahsudu bahsud hasad okay so you know even if you forget you 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 just recall the nasara pattern and you will be able to do it inshallah what is akala eating to eat akala yeah it is about eating so akala he ate right akala who is going to do the table akala yaakulu akala yaakulu kul now remember the difference between kul and kul this kul is eat okay and there was another kul what does that mean say eat that is say so say. this kul is eat. as quran says wa kulu wa shrabu so kul kulu it is a plural of it eat you all uh, so from here becomes akil the one who eats maqul what is eaten by the way there is a sutra where example this example is also mentioned maqul surah feel can you recall the name of the surah surah feel surah feel exactly excellent excellent surah feel so you know start connecting exactly. things and you feel very happy alhamdulillah okay now i know the table we are learning we are kul also comes in quran kulu in the form of its plural plural amr and maqul so allah made it like the eaten uh, you know fodder so akil maqul and akl akil the food itself so akala yaqulu kul akil Akul, akul. Everyone, do it with me. Come on, I'll do the actions, and you will call out. Ya kul, kul, akil, ma kul, kala, ya kul, kul, akil, ma kul, akil, kul, akil. Okay. Kala, ma kul, kul, akil, ma kul. One time in Quran, so we should we should do it. One hundred and one times. So by having done this table, you will know the meanings of one hundred and one words of Quran. Alhamdulillah. And then comes Amara. We have already done this table, by the way. What does Amara mean? Command. Order. Two order. Yeah. Order. He, ordered, he commanded. Both meanings are okay. He ordered two hundred and forty-four times in Quran. So do enough good practice of it today that you never forget it. Amara, ya, Amara, ya, Amur, ya, Amur, Amur, Amir, Amir, Amur, Amur, Amir, Amur, Amur, Amur. Now, just a minute. I want your special attention here because these are. you know their their amr is you, you remember this why is this amr different than the regular pattern in the regular pattern there is a hamza always like unsur udkhul uhsud why are these amr different what was the reason we studied hamza sometimes appears sometimes disappears mashallah excellent so you know if you just remember this little rule you can see it in application because afal of hamza we studied them as a separate category that there is some changes so sometime hamza might not appear so in in the amr of it so akala yaqul kul so kul in kul the hamza has gone away like in amara yamuru mur okay and we also studied i think on the pattern of amara we studied uh, akhaza am i right 
Yes, maybe it comes in the, on the coming slides. All right. So happy to know that you're clear about it. And there is Taraka. Taraka? Yatruku. Okay. You know, so Taraka, he left. He, uh, what should be, what could be the meaning Taraka? Uh, leave. Left. Yes. Left. So Taraka, Yatruku, Utro. Tark. All right. Alhamdulillah. So, question for all of you. Translation of Dakhal. A, B, C, D. C. C, sir. Ah, it has to be C. Sorry, not the D. It is a wrong one. Dakhalu, it has to be C only. They entered. Dakhalu. Okay. Watara Kahum. No, how could it be C? Because there is Wa also. So Wa should at least make it easy for us to. Wa Tarak. B, Okay. What B. He left them. He yeah, he left them. Excellent. It was Taraka at home. So at such points, you should be able to do two actions to be able to translate right. Yad Kuruna fi din Allah. A B C D. Yad Kuruna fi entered fi in din Allah. A. Mashala, I really like this brother's way of doing it. You know, he was saying, Yadukuluna, they entered in Deen Allah, in the Deen of Allah. So, yeah, they are entering into the religion of Allah. Yadukuluna. You know, Yadukuluna, Ya is also for they. Yadukulu, Yadukuluna. So, in Quran, we have approximately, once again, a reminder 190 such verbs that occur almost 4,000 times. Here comes Ahaza. Yeah. So, Ahaza, yeah, It is also Hamza pattern. You know, it is the Hamza pattern again. So, it also has its Amr like Khuz. Ahiz, Mahuz, and Who will do the practice? Raise hand, please. At least do practice three times so that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's defined. Excellent. Excellent, Sister Asia. Nahaza, Ya Ahuzu, Ahuz, Ahir, Mahuz, Ahuz, Ahiz, Mahuz, Ahuzun. Excellent. So these are a bit different. That's why I want you to have the Hamza Afal, a good practice of them. Khalada. Uh, is like uh, you know all our sound work uh, sound letters so it is a sound work so it is exactly on the pattern of nasara so uh, very easy khalada yakhludu ukhlud khalada yakhludu ukhlud ukhlud alid ta'khlud ashkhulud 
Talib dash Kulun. Kulun. Okay. So, who is, who is going to do its practice? Khalada, Yakhludu, Ukhlud, Khalid, Dash, Kulud. Kulud, right. Razaka, we have done it many times. Razaka, Yazu, Urzu, Razik, Marzu, Allah Khairul Razikin. Here comes a new one again. Sajada. Sajada. All parts of letter. So very easy to do. But how do you do Sajada Sajadu Sajad? Remember Sajad to Sajad from Sajadna. Yes, you do. Yes, you do not. Yes, you do. 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 We understand this. What does it mean? Do not do. 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 Before anyone other than Allah, and if they do do Allah, what does it mean? Prostrate for Allah. Before Allah, for Allah, usjud, sajid, masjud, or sujud. Okay, or sajada, sujud. Excellent. So it is easy. Sakana, yes, also comes from Nasana. You know, it is about living. When you live somewhere, he lived. Sakana. Yes. 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 And when Allah said, Yeah, muskun anta wa zawjukal jannah. So, which form is it here? Amr. This is Amr. Allah said, Ya Adam Uskun. This is how so Adam is. live in Jannah. Yeah. So Allah ordered Adam or Allah told Adam, Oh Adam, live you and your wife in Jannah. Ya Adam Uskun. Uskun. This is the Amr. You know, don't you feel happy? I actually at times feel very happy because, you know, when I used to read Quran, uh, prior to doing these courses, I had no idea, you know, how this word could be joined. If I separate it, how would I say, should I say askun, iskun, or uskun? What should I do? And I didn't have any clue and no rule. So I would always join it, ya adam uskun, you know. But now, alhamdulillah, even if I break it and I say, ya adam uskun, anta wazawjak. Al Jannah. So we can, you, you know, Alhamdulillah, we understand it. We can very easily do it. Sakana yaskun muskun sakin dash the one who lives lives himself or herself. So sukun. Sukun means to be living somewhere. Alhamdulillah. So brothers and sisters, yesterday we covered six afal on the pattern of Fataha. Today we have covered fifteen afal. Khalaka abada zakara shakara dakhala hasada. Akala Amara Taraka, Akada Kalada Razaka Sajada Sakana. Fifteen of them on the pattern of Nasara. Okay, so these fifteen afal come in Quran 1627 times. If in the coming five days you do enough practice of these fifteen afal, and you know, when I say practice, ideally. If you know their first mazi, it meaning, it's meaning, and short table, it means you know everything. That's it. And by the way, even if you know the first mazi form, it's meaning, and this, that it is on the pattern of Nasara. This is enough. Are you getting this point? So it means you would know the meanings of 1600 plus words of Quran. And that too also afal, you know, different afal. So Alhamdulillah. Uh, with this, uh, in the Arabic spoken, I'm sure we have done already enough practice. What if I ask you, Hal Shakartullah? What would you say? Naam Shakartullah. Yes, I do thank Allah. 
Shakartumullah. 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 Alhamdulillah. So, let's see who answers right and quick. A, B, C, D. A, sir. Yeah, when it is Amaratumullah, then the answer is Amaratumullah. Right. So, Hal Tarakta, Hal Halta Sudu, we have done Hal Taksudu Nana. Be very careful when you are when you are answering it. It's Tahsuduna and Na. Okay, See. what will be answered? So Tahsuduna changes into Nahsudukum and Na changes into Kum. Okay? La Nahsudukum. The ones who are given the right answer, it means they, they are very good at doing actions and reversing them. So very good. Hal is zikru ibada. Namaz zikru ibada. Yeah. When both the words are is in the in the sentence, the answer is accordingly. Hal azikru ibada, nam azikru ibada. Makes it easy. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of the day. So please complete the table and we pray to Allah to help us recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, memorize the Quran. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Thank you.